We have stopped on the road to Quezon. When walking around the old base, it's not obvious that Quezon was located at the top of such a steep valley. This valley was part of the Ho Chi Minh Trail and was used extensively by the NVA to infiltrate into South Vietnam. During the siege of Khe Son, the whole of this valley was obliterated by aerial bombing. The B-52s alone dropped more than 75,000 tons of bombs, on the two NVA divisions encroaching the combat base. The old airstrip was located to the right of the hydro stack. We are now standing behind the museum building, at Quezon. For more information, about the position of the Quezon base, see our part 1 video. The M48, A3 Patton tank, saw extensive action with the U.S. military during the Vietnam War. Over 648 tanks were deployed with U.S. forces. When American forces were withdrawn from the war, many were passed to South Vietnamese armored units. This exhibit would have been one of those. The M48 relics are fairly common throughout Vietnam. They have become an iconic part of the war, depicted in many period photographs and movies. Its main armament was the 90mm gun, together with a 7.62mm M73 machine gun, and commonly mounted in the commander's cupola was a Browning 50 machine gun. The M113, Armored Personnel Carrier, it's an interesting fact that it was first used in combat, during the Vietnam War. The M113 was the most widely used armored vehicle, of the U.S. Army. The most common weapon fit is a single .50 caliber machine gun, this particular relic has two machine guns fitted. The M This M41 tank, has seen better days. All these relics have been brought to the museum. Only the M48 tank and the M113 were used, during the 1968 siege. This C-130A Hercules, is United States Air Force Serial, 56532. In April 1975 it was abandoned at Saigon Airport. Sometime afterwards it was brought to this museum. C-130 Hercules, were used extensively during the siege of Quezon. Several were destroyed on the airstrip. Eventually, it becomes so dangerous that only parachute airdrops were undertaken. The airstrip was directly in front of the Hercules. During the Vietnam War, over 70 were lost by U.S. Air Force and the Marines. The Hercules is the longest continuously produced military aircraft of all time.
This is a pan along the old airstrip. You may recall at the beginning of the video, we looked at the hydro stack which is now on the right. We are over on the other side of the old airstrip, looking at the helicopter revetments. These look like concrete reconstructions. Around 2012, the museum made the bunker examples currently on the base. And these revetments appear to have been made at the same time. It was well documented that the base was leveled after the 1968 siege. We have now moved to the west of the Quezon Museum building, in 1968, this was the location of the 105mm artillery battery. The artillery bunkers have been reconstructed, there is one example of an artillery gun.